Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, my beautiful pen friends, and welcome to another video with your host, Andrew. Now, today, what we're going to be having a look at is a pen from Mayora. So let's roll those titles and see what we got. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, firstly, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Elliot for the loan of this pen. It's really going to help with the content on this channel. And certainly, you know, if you have got a pen which you want to have reviewed, uh, whether you're a pen manufacturer or a private collector, but you would just like to have my thoughts on um, your pen, then please do contact me on Instagram and I'll be glad to receive your pen for review. I am pretty uh, non-biased to um, pen manufacturers. I have got pen manufacturers, which I do favour a little bit, but those are my own personal opinions. Um, but when I'm doing my reviews, I try to stay objective as possible. Um, I will talk about parts of features which I like and which I don't like, and I will always be honest about that, no matter who sends in the pen. Okay, so let's have a look at this pen. Now this is um, based on Mount Vesuvio. Well, the colours are based on Mount Vesuvio, I should uh, highlight. And this is a limited edition of 888 pens worldwide, and it is made by Mayora, which is uh, owned by Nina Marino, which is one of the co-founders of the Delta Pen Company. And when I show you the packaging in a moment, you can see a little bit of that uh, Delta sort of thought process in, in that packaging. And anyway, let's just have a look at this pen. Uh, we'll go over the, the parts and the features of this pen and then we will do a writing sample and then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like. But before I do that, I'm just going to put up the size measurements and dimensions for this pen. Okay, and then we will now just go on to the parts of this pen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at this pen. So we've got a conical top uh, on this finial, comes onto a brass clip with a gold coating on it lovely spaghetti style resin, comes onto a little gold ring with um, a black ring underneath which is part of the cap, all very nice, I'll talk to you more about that in a moment. Comes onto this triscale pattern which represents the universe, very interesting. Um, not quite sure whether that has any sort of relationship to the volcano but uh, maybe Nino can explain more about why he opted for a triscale but anyway we come on to the main part of the body, which tapers down ever so slightly, where we've got imprinted Mayora, the Silvio, and then handmade in Italy. Then comes down to the bottom, where we've got this translucent, or semi-translucent, I should say, blind cap, which is separated with a gold ring, which is on the main part of the body itself. Really nice machinery on here, absolutely fantastic. I do like this little brass um, section, because it just gives a little bit more weight to the pen. And then we've got this... Uh, piston turning knob, which is part of the cartridge converter. Right, okay, underneath, we have got the real star of the show. And this is an 18 karat gold extra fine nib. Now, this is really spectacular, this nib. I wish, I've got a few sort of, um, maybe points which I'd like to share, and I don't know whether or not people will agree with them, but I'll talk about that in my likes and dislikes later. Anyway, we've got plastic feet, really nice um, section here. Does take up quite um, shortly, uh, so some people might find that hard to grip. That's, I digress. But yeah, very nice. And this um, 18 karat gold nib is absolutely fantastic. It's actually handmade, interestingly enough. Now, Nino did tell me that he is using machinery which is uh, almost over 100 years old and some of the machinery aspect of it is very, very challenging. I would love to see Mayora actually hand make their nibs in the future, and as they actually grow as a company, you may see that um, down the line. I do think um, in-house made nibs are slowly returning. You've got companies like Visconti, which have um, dumps using Bock, and are now making their own internal nibs which is great, and then of course you've got Santini, which has been making their own nibs right from the get-go. So you are now starting to see a bit more of a transition moving away from the bigger companies using standard Bok and Yovo nibs to actually using in-house nibs. And I think you might see this down the line with other companies as well. Right, so that's the pen in the nutshell. Let's have a look at the packaging next. Right, so. 
The pen is presented in this cardboard box. Really nice gold foil debossed logo. And on the inside, you have got your Mayora pen box, which is very similar to that of Delta. And it's usually held in place with these two elastic bands. So that's how it would actually be presented. So take that off. And then inside, you will be presented your pen. Very nice indeed. Now, interestingly, even though it's not actually, I don't think, mentioned, in here are spare cartridges as well, should you wish to, to use cartridges. I was a little bit confused by that, but yeah, it's. I, I just think that maybe it's not necessarily obvious. If this is going to be continued in the uh, future, it might be quite nice just to write down cartridges on the actual top here, just so that people know that there are actually cartridges in there and they don't just accidentally throw away the, um, the actual cardboard section. Anyway, let's move on to doing the writing sample and we will then talk about what we like, what we don't like, and we'll also do some size comparisons as well. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the Mayora. Vesuvio. And this is a limited edition. And it's an 18 karat gold nib. Okay, All right, let's just do the quick round fox. Wonderful. Okay, now this is where things get a little bit interesting. So we're just going to do some line variation. I have been told by Edit that this pen can be a little bit troublesome at times in terms of actually finding the sweet spot. But look at this bounce. How wonderful is this? Now I wouldn't recommend over flexing this because this isn't actually designed to be a flex nib but you can get some real, real expression out of this. So I'll just write down test. Look at that. And I have had this pen railroad quite a bit. So maybe, as I said um, in my previous section, perhaps an ebonite feed might be a, bit, well, a better option just to give the, the feed a little bit more oomph. Um, I did speak to Nino and he said, no, an ebonite feed wouldn't make any difference. But I don't know. I mean, I, I wouldn't pretend that I know better than the pen manufacturer. But I do know from my experience with other gold nib fountain pens that using ebonite is, in my idea and my preference, um, slightly better. So we've got Leonardo Black in here. Do a wetness test. That's one pass. As you can see, it's pretty wet. Do two passes. That's about the same. So, as you can see, as this ink dries, you can still see the remnants of this extra fine nib. But yeah, it's an absolutely glorious nib. Now, can we reverse write with this?
Yes, but like usual, it will start running out. Although, having said that, it is actually very smooth. So that is the writing test in a nutshell. And now let's move on to the size comparison. Okay, so going from left to right, we have got the Santini Libra in Ambra. Then we've got the Mayora Vesuvio. Then we've got a Narwhal School Kiel, and that is in Cronus Teal. And then lastly, but not least, we have got the Nakaya Piccolo Cigar in Midori Tamanuri. And all are absolutely lovely pens. So let's just uncap those so you can see those in comparison. And here we go. And these are the pens uncapped. So now let's just go back on to the main section and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's have a look at what I like and dislike about this pen. Now, I always try to be objective with my videos and I feel that there are things which I would like to improve about this pen. And then I'll talk about the things which I really do love about it. So, firstly, the clip. Okay, I think the clip is really stylish and I think it really does suit the Mayora Impromptu line. But on this Vesuvio, I really would like to have perhaps seen an Italian style roller clip with the little roller ball on the bottom. I just feel it would be a little bit more in keeping with the actual Triscale pattern, which really just exude that sort of um, style. Um, absolutely beautiful. But then there's a few things I'd like to talk to you about on that as well. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's an off putting thing, but someone with OCD, the actual inlay of the actual patterns, as beautiful as they are, they're not all equally spaced and also they're inconsistent in terms of the uh, centering to the actual ring. Now that may not bother um, some people but it's just those little details which I feel could be better. Lastly, on the inside of the actual uh, cap is a black disc. And the idea of that little black disc is to stop the actual pen from drying out because there is a little air gap for the actual clip. But, and here's the big but, it doesn't necessarily always uh, seem to go to the edge, which is a bit of an issue because if you don't use the pen for a while, it does have a habit of drying out, which is a bit of a pain. <laughs> it's not a hard thing to get started again. You can just wet your fingers and then just slide it over the nib but it's just a little um, observation and maybe this is something which Nino could perhaps consider looking into in the future because the actual rest of the pen is stunning. This acrylic is beautiful as I turn it around. As you can see, it really does have a lot of chatoyance in these colors. In the blacks, there's these sort of like bronzing effects going on as I turn it. And in these oranges, it really does come to life. The writing experience is absolutely phenomenal uh, with this pen. I really can't praise Nino enough when it comes to the actual writing experience. And it's certainly a step up from the Yovo nibs, uh, which are presented on the Impromptu line. So it'd be lovely to see um, some more gold nib options coming out uh, for the rest of Mayora, and not just limited to the limited edition pens. Now, I do love steel nibs, and I will always probably opt for steel nibs, but I just feel for the consumer, it may be nice to actually see more gold nib options. The, there's not really much more I can talk about about this pen. The actual ink performs really well in here, this Leonardo Black. And that nib really is absolutely stunning. It's very simple, very elegant. And as I say, I do think, I'm pretty sure that is actually stamped, which is pretty impressive, to be honest. And I would love to see a little bit more stamping on perhaps the rest of their nibs just purely because I think stamped nibs look better. <laughs> anyway, that really is the pen in a nutshell. Um, just really leads me to say thank you, Elliot, once again for loaning me this pen. It really was very kind of you. And Nino, thank you for producing beautiful pens. Uh, if you can take those points of um, notice, which I have given on this uh, video, and if you could maybe consider certainly the actual inside of the cap uh, for the future, um, I would be forever in your debt. Uh, and also a little bit more care and attention on the actual ring. I think the actual Triscales look absolutely fantastic, but just, um, I don't know whether it is sort of hand stamped in there and then wrapped around. I don't know how it's done, but 
Yeah, it's, uh, some sort of alignment issue, and something with OCD may find that a little bit more bothersome. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, what, is, uh, what pens have you bought this week, guys? Tell me in the comment section below, and is there any manufacturers which you'd like to see on this channel? Again, please put those comments in the section below. Uh, so, until the next uh, video, stay safe, be well, and goodbye.